before, and I'll detail what it is before or after we're set up. Before we set up, we have to have everyone have all their shit and what they need to set up tent and be warm. Everybody needs. I have a question. Super behind. Since we're going to the film, on Wednesday, what are we going to do with our things while we're doing that? That's something we'll do. Like, job that day. No, like 48 hours. I mean, are we trying to... I don't know. Okay. We should probably have them, like, in the park and then have someone watching them that doesn't want to I completely go. disagree with that. I respectfully. That's, 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 okay. that's Is this going to be dark? Yeah, and okay. I don't there's just a lot of room for them to, like... That's just a lot Maybe if there's a, a safe place, like for instance, uh, Ryan who lives a block away. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't know. But I don't know. If, yeah, that's like, well, I don't know why. Like, what, what would be the problem with if everybody's got a small backpack with their stuff? What's the problem with the They also have to be That's true. No, that, no, that, that's going to have to be a separate. I think it's going to have to be in trucks. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to have to be a separate thing altogether from the march from Come from tables. Gallery five. Uh, what about? Oh, well, maybe, if, we, if we if we make everything mobile before we get down there, we can bring all. Of, if it's if it's basically if it's good enough to be what we want it for, like if we actually do a good enough job to actually meet the demands of being able to bug out, and bug in, then it will be able. We we should be able to take it all with us. It will be the first good demonstration of the, our own capability to be mobile. Well, the first, the first I, I, I think it would be better if every working group had at least one car and one truck so they can have their stuff in the car and in the truck. And if they can just park it, find a parking spot along the perimeter of the park. You don't need to bring all that to the march. You know, you can set that up after we're already in the place. Once we're in this place and you set up your personal area, then we get tent, then you get together with your group and then you go to the trucks and then you start setting up the work group. Because that's not so The most important is being able to occupy and sleep that night. You don't need all those other working group places that work next. I disagree with that. Yeah, some of first aid needs to be a, well, no, well, first do, needs to be a, a pretty much a, a like benchmark. The first thing you need to do you know, our first benchmark. Though. I that's mean, as soon as tents are set up, I think first need, first aid needs to go up. I think uh, kitchen needs to go up shortly thereafter, so that we have something to eat the next day. Well, no, you know, it's a matter of how efficient we are. We need to have people designated to put up the tents, like say kitchen, media, comfort, medical, library. We need to have people designated to establish that media. Yeah. Okay. I'm so we've, been we've been interrupting her pretty persistently. Can we let her finish her thought? Right. No, no, I'm just saying a car for each of those working groups for those food because, like, if you don't. You set your tent up, whatever. If you feel it's more important to do the food, then you need to do the food. But like, if you have it in the truck, you don't need to carry all the food to get out of five. Of course. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but Joe, I agree with that. Go for it. What if people who aren't sleeping the night set up all the different tents and stuff for <coughs> media and medical? We need to have people who are designated, who know in the yeah. case in the case of a raid, they go over to that tent and take the media tent. Yeah. You need like four people to do the media tent, four people to do the medical, four people to do the kitchen. You need people who are designated, yeah. who know, not just like who's going to do it, you're going to do it, who's going to do it. No, people know in the case of a raid, they're the people who go and take care of that. I and also we're the people. Discussing who, setting up for Wednesday. No, we're discussing how to be nomadic. Okay. The entire follow right. We're going to catalog those people who can do that, and if not, can we get one? We need to have yeah, one. Yeah, we need to have one. We should have a sign up. Um, yeah. We had also discussed okay. the, having a list of people, trucks, hand trucks, van, anything that can move equipment, that they will need to be on 24-hour call. Like, you will need to be available at 3 a.m. if we call you at 3 a.m. Otherwise, it's Here not a very good... No that, that's where we're going to need you. So, um, we're going to try to get that list together. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I, I we're trying to get that list together so that we can post that on the inside of whatever staging area we have, um, so that the people that are at the logistics or bug out camp are um, able to call all those people and arrange that as soon as we see a police presence. Okay. Oh. Is that directly to her? It was directly to her. Um, I was thinking earlier, I was talking to, like, we, I have access to the workshop. We can just make a bunch of rolly cards with casters just to have under like our big things so you don't need to get hand checks. Josh and I actually were discussing yeah, the same thing earlier. Go, <laughs> something along those lines. All right, now work with me on this one, y'all here. Covered wagons working trail style. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <I'm serious. laughs> <I'm serious, though. laughs> a couple <laughs> things. A couple things. <laughs> how fucking Richmond's would it, how, yeah. how, how, how Richmond would it be to have a bunch of covered wagons in camp? That'd like, be great. Trail style. 
Number two, if we design them and construct them appropriately, they can be hitched directly on the back of a pickup <laughs> truck, which also has a huge bed that you can put stuff in. We'd have to get a license then. for them. Yeah, I think it's better that, that they be pushed. We'd have to get a permit to be in a park. Well, yeah. You know, uh, uh, I would, I would, well, I would, that should be addressed. Let's let him finish but, first. Let uh, the, the other advantages, and you know, we can go off of it once we get the whole plan out there. Um, other advantages would be that, you know, if you position them all like in somewhat of a circle, you have like pull out drawers on the bottom. Oh, bam, there's kitchen right there, all on the inside, everything on the inside, kind of scattered amongst the three. Um, have all of our stuff just in the wagons at all times and use wagons instead of tents so we don't need to take anything down. It's already there, ready to go, ready to move. Likewise, once you pull the people out, that gives you a whole lot more space where we can make those like little trays with wheels and stuff that are spread around camp. Wheel them right over the wagons, put them up in there, they fit in, they stack up like a like in a storage unit, put, hitch it onto the back of something. I mean, we're creative people, we're crafty, we can figure something out. But just in concept, you know, having some sort of a wheeled mobile device that can hitch onto the back of a pickup truck. Sure, as long as they have covers. You know, we can make covers. Oh, no, you said we could make that. trailers, we could use trailers and make the covers. Think she had something, right? Yeah, I, I like the cover. This is a wonderful idea. We have two days to do this. I think if we're going to plan as ourselves around, we have three days to do this, including today. If we're going to plan our occupation around wagons, we need some people with drafting experience, and we should need some people with carpentry experience, and, and bicycle experience. To do it. With bicycle, bicycle experience, and people with wood shop access, and they need to get together right now and start working. I mean, they, they have wood shop meeting access. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is wood shop access. We just and needed to wood and money and our ideas together. Then we need, we need to get on this tonight. Because oh, yeah. I mean, I have wood shop access. I just I don't this have the funding for any of this. All over the news. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, well, I was thinking since we're talking about making this mobile, we should have our next location set in stone so everyone knows that that's where we're going. We break everything down, protest on the corner for a little bit while the raid's going on, head straight to the next spot, set up, and then. Once we set up there, plan for the next spot right then. Um, in, in relation to that, we had been thinking, and this will of course be up to y'all and then also up to the GA should they want it. We had been thinking that in, in the instance of us coming to Monroe Park on Wednesday, if it were possible for us to have a secondary location identified um, as a part of logistics or, and, 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 you know, the bug out group, if we can have that location identified but not released, if we get the GA's approval, then we will be able to send a scout ahead here, see if there's police presence here, and if it is, we just go to our second location we set up and they think we're coming here. <laughs> you want GA's approval for that? We yes. want GA's approval to be able to make that decision in committee and, and keep it until Wednesday right before we leave to Do you want GA's approval tonight? Yes. yes. I think that's a really good uh, I have a concern. Okay. <coughs> it's, it will be really hard to keep the location secret in the way we can speak it. Pick up. But, no, I mean, that's I've, the whole point. I've got a, I've, I've got a, a possible solution. Right yeah, well, th that's fine. There's a possible solution to this. Um, last night we had, like, three second place locations yeah. that were all tied. Those are three locations that were somewhat approved by GA, semi-approved by the location work group. If we can get that set of three secondary locations approved in GA, and then leave the autonomy to decide exactly where we go because it's tactically important to the logistics bug out work group or whatever, then they have an idea of where we're possibly going. We have scouts that we send to all three locations to see, make sure that none of them have police activity. And then at the last minute, we make that decision. You know, we, we, how do we, we let everyone know to go there? During, the, yeah, when we're during, all together. Yeah. Right, but I was, I was thinking, when we, when we were thinking about this, we were thinking that, like, perhaps prior to the airing of the documentary, someone goes, here's the plan. We're going to march after the documentary. However, if our scouts come back and say that there are police presence in Monroe Park, we're going to location. And... That way, we're disseminating the information, but in a strategically advantageous right. way. Right, and we should we should have those locations 
set with different numbers, so that if, if maybe the second location also has police, right. and scouts come, and we'd let everyone know. Yeah. know I mean. So the concept is having a very limited number of people know the, right. the location, and then distributing that immediately before right. we get here. Right. And we can idea. identify That's routes right. with liquid chalk, which is super easy to make. And you can actually attach it to a bike that'll spray a little line of liquid chalk every couple <laughs> oh, of feet. No, no, no. So you can just have someone biking ahead of the route and just liquid chalking the sidewalk so that we have like, That's a, great idea. Uh, like a cracker trail to follow. Okay. What you or, or what if you just have a specific phone shoe within logistics, the ma like a mass texting within logistics, you have those people go out to those locations. People within logistics should be leading the march. If you're leading the march and you're saying you're going to this place, then you can have three routes already pre-prepared and say we're going to take route number three because we're going, we can't go to this location. You know, I think we need to... Yeah, 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 yeah. we need to get back to exactly. Are we going to do? It's important. We need to decide today. Is happening Wednesday? Trailers or tents for the major group for yeah, the kitchen and the media. Trailers or tents? Mobile, mobile. How do we make it mobile? Do we put it all on wheels? Thank you. I'll figure that out. Packers and tarpaulins, zip ties. We have three minutes. I'd say a tent and something mobile. Yeah, yeah, three minutes. Can I say? Can I say? Can we? Can we do it the way we did it at Kanawa? With the understanding that the tents need to be more mobile, and then we'll work on the wagon thing because we don't have yeah. a lot of time until yeah. occupation. So I, would I, just want I like the idea is yeah. that we need to be able to get into wherever we're going. I would not be surprised if Monroe Park is surrounded by police and barricades while we're in the street. What we need to be thinking of is how do we get into a spot and stay one night? Because when the sun comes up, it gets a whole lot easier to get done what we need to get done. It's very practically on the sound of us to say let's occupy at 7 p.m. you know or 8 p.m. whenever it gets done so likely the best thing to do in my mind would be to just have as a critical mass rally in the park overnight you know have several 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 hundred people here we'll try to get as many students out as we can um, then we just stand close to one another in a big circle in the middle of the park or something holding up signs get like hundreds of hand warmers have coffee and tea available all night and just keep people comfortable and standing for as much of the night as possible so when the sun rate rises you can actually put like the tent tents down if we have the wagons then we have some infrastructure in there to where we can be operating media out of kitchen out of and all those other things temporarily and also uh, tent drilling yeah, we need to go. Yeah, okay. at the daytime though. Yeah. We can, we, we can have those around. trainings uh, tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday as well. No problem. You don't have to worry. I just wanted to bring it up. Yeah, that's a good idea. We always have one cart ready for that night. Just for that specific night, we will be out of that one cart. What, what, do you have anything in mind about what those carts would be? Like, you can just take a, like, a, a pallet. One minute. Four cats. Yeah, four cats right at the bottom. Got to go, guys. Um, Covered, um, covered containers on them and just peel them. You'll have one that has like. We're gonna have these be ground level? Yeah. You have one that has like beverages, one that has like snacks and goodies and stuff, another that has like. You need to have a. Uh, one you have a truck that comes out. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, um, I bought I to the side to tie down the tarp. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through what we just talked about. It needs to be some kind of tent. We need to get some kind of money. We'll add some of the great things. We can buy them for your house. And another one. Some of the logistics are going to be nice. We can get some of the logistics. So, and then we can get some of the logistics. And then we can get some of the logistics. What do y'all feel about a fence? It's just the casting. It's just that high. That's why. Like, I mean, that's, that's a secondary casting. How much is that? Maybe like six or seven of these. Yeah, they're pretty. What if we buy them just a bolt? Just a wheel. It's not attached to anything. So we're going to roll it. I mean, we're going to need pretty big wheels because we're kind of carrying a lot of heavy things. This is a big one.